we have to watch something. We got to watch something. Okay, everyone, are you ready for some content? Are we ready for content? Because I got a video for us to watch from this church militant channel that I think should be very, very interesting. Are we ready? Are we ready for some insane conservative cringe? It's the gay mind. We're going to find out about the gay mind. Are you ready to find out about the gay mind? I am. I've lived with a gay mind my whole life. So let's find out what other people have to say about the gay mind. All right, let's take a look here. What's this? Oh, yeah, this is cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look at this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Gay mind time. All right, everybody, it's gay minding time. Here we go. Here, and I'd like to invite you to please check out our website at churchmilton.com. Shut the fuck up. There you'll Shut get up. me at Church Milton about the fine to churchmilton.com. And Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris, reminding you to log on directly to churchmilton.com oh and my not God, rely two plugs in on a row? social media giants to alert you to our productions. Yo, what? Yo, what? Okay. Now, as attempts to normalize homosexuality by high-ranking clerics roll along, it's worth noting that there is little else that could be done that would be less charitable than to support someone by telling them that their condition is normal and good. Wow. Okay. We're getting straight into it. Uh, this just in, it is a condition to be gay. It's a condition to be gay as opposed to, yeah, it's like, okay. Uh, yeah. Tell that to the historical record, dude. Do you know how long there've been gay people? Do you know how gay ancient societies were? Good. We don't tell alcoholics it's okay to get smashed because they want to and probably have solid reasons to. Yes, as we know, being gay and being an alcoholic, identical things. Absolutely identical, no difference. We don't tell people affected by other troubling sexual issues it's okay to act on them. What does that mean? Other troubling sexual issues? What does that mean? XXX? Does that mean like porn? Or jacking off? Or is it a... It could be a dog whistle for pedophilia. Actually, I think the church does, though. Uh, oof. At least we shouldn't, although Democrats and liberals do. The very reference to a person as being gay is a horrible thing. Each person is a creature made to the image and likeness of God. After that, we are all subject to the same set of pains and woes present in a fallen world. In the case of someone afflicted with the same what sex attraction. What does this even mean? This is this is Christian word salad. This is even this is even word salad for Christian people. We need to understand that something or some things happened in the person's life, more than likely their very young life, and this- Oh, he's pushing the old, every gay person is actually, uh, is actually the victim of sexual assault. Ah, correct. I, I should have seen this one coming. The old school one that has no scientific basis whatsoever at all whatsoever good luck trying to prove that but if it just exists in your mind then you don't need to prove it this is how their mind responded reacted to it the canard being touted that someone is born that way is a lie because if they were born that way it also means they were conceived that way and there isn't the slightest bit of data to even excuse me what if they're born that way, that means they were conceived that way with gay sperm. Do you not think that like anything happens to a human for nine months in utero? First of all, that's the first thing I would ask is like, you know, that like from when you're conceived to when you're born, there's like nine months of like hormonal changes and all kinds of stuff that like literally ignoring that and then trying to quote like, yeah, exactly. And you want to know it's really wild, Lonnie? Guess what? You are conceived without a sex. Oh, fuck. 
oh fuck and guess what every single baby starts with a uh primordial vagina that transforms over time either into a uh, a a vagina or a penis or something in between hmm very strange looks like god literally makes every person technically trans because you literally develop a gender after certain hormones act on you and that is a scientific fact by the way but remember uh nothing happens in the nine months that you're in utero nothing protopenies yes even begin to suggest that this is true that's correct. there are not gay fetuses floating around in the wombs of their mothers there bet there are there are children in utero with all the flaws of a fallen human nature and who have personalities that leave them susceptible as we are all susceptible to the pitfalls and hurts of life so you're born with your so you're conceived with your personality and you're conceived with original sin huh rough and our inadequate responses. I don't even think the church be I don't even think Catholicism believes in that. Is it not true that in Catholicism that um the unborn that like babies don't have responsibility and they go to purgatory instead of um or limbo that babies like babies and young people who die before like the age of 7 go to go to limbo? Is that not accurate? Because it sounds like he's not even right in with regard to his own religion. This guy's just an idiot. Oh, he has a terrible toupee, yes. Before the American... This guy's fucking head looks like a, well, perfect freeze frame. I mean, perfect freeze frame. Can't really beat that. Psychiatric Association was railroaded by having its annual meeting stormed by homosexualists back in the early... Homosexualists? Yes! Oh my god, I love it! Yes! Homosexualists! Oh my god, that's so good! The homos it was stormed by homosexualists. Ooh, we got a Giga Cosmo K Cosmonaut? <gasps> oh my god, it's so good! Oh, it's so good. I love it. Thank you. We'll have to add that one too. Anyway. 1970s. Let's continue. Thank you. Homosexuality was considered as one among many psychosexual problems. As a quick aside, to see much Yeah. And they don't anymore because it's bad to do that. Because they were wrong and that was informed by hate. It was unscientific. Question I've wondered for a while. Let's say someone is born with male parts. But let's say that for some reason the parents and doctor want to just say they are a girl. And they grow up raised like any AFAB person. But let's say they decide they want to be a boy later in life. Despite having what most would call male genitals. Would they still be considered a trans man? Um, yeah, and stuff like that has existed. Yes, that has literally happened. That has actually happened. So yes um, There's been all kinds of stuff like that. It's really complicated, but yes But honestly, they would be considered whatever they wanted to be to be completely honest, but yeah, let's continue Much more about this. Please view our FBI faith. -based yep. Yep. Gay fesh. Correct. True, Lone Cat, you have destroyed it. Initiative on homosexuality. See the link below. The mind, the psyche, which has turned to acting out on homosexual desires, is a deeply wounded psyche. It the wounded gay psyche. Amazing. It, like many other psyches, has experienced a great pain or rejection, an absence or an abuse or series of abuses. And in... Mmm, yeah, let's see some citations on that, bitch. You don't got him, do ya? You don't got him! Internalized all this into the need for affection from the same sex, which ultimately becomes sexualized. This is the most absurd mental pretzeling I've ever heard in my entire life. Ah, yes, it's... You are abused, which makes you want more attention from the same sex, and that turns you into a gay over the time. This is, this is like fucking, this is some magical thinking right here. All of this, mind you, is asserted with no evidence. All of this is being asserted with no evidence. Nothing. The young mind has no mechanism for properly coping with unmet needs, and so it turns inward. What? That's God's fault! That is God's fault. If God, if God made it so that children's brains 
can't fucking function. That's God's fault. What the fuck? How do these people believe in a divine creator? Oh my God, this is so ridiculous. Looking for some solace. Some personalities are extremely sensitive and need more care and attention than mom and dad might recognize. If physical or social or emotional abuse, or at least what the young boy or girl perceives to be- Ah, look at that. He's even downplaying the abuse. He's even, listen to that. Or what they perceive as abuse happens, they could turn gay. Literally like, oh, it's not abuse. It's just you perceived it as abuse because you're a dumb kid. Holy shit. Use happens, then all feelings of safety are gone. If a child does not feel safe and loved, whether the reality is true in fact or not, if the feeling is present in the child- I'm gonna say it right now. This sounds like a guy who abuses children. I, I, there's no evidence of that to be fair, but when you when you're downplaying and trying to like get out ahead and uh, when you're trying to get out of the ahead of things and go like well you know it might be perceived like the children might be perceiving they're being abused whether it actually happened or not it sure sounds like you're trying to lay the road for downplaying other abuse um claims against somebody oh fun fact Voris used to be gay oh of course of course he's one of those types oh my god of course child all bets are off psychologists pinpoint from the age of six months to about two years old as a rapid and template forming grid of psychosexual development if something or and guess what psychologists disagree with you you can't just pick and choose at will psychologists don't agree with you you fucking idiot some things go wrong again either in reality or or perception of there he goes again this guy oh my god listen i'd be willing to bet money on this guy being a fucking child abuser of the child during this time it can again either in reality or perception of the child go wrong again either in reality or perception of the child how many times holy shit how many times like that's just raw this is so fucked during this time, it can cause problems that well fuck. into adulthood and perhaps for the person's whole life. Depending on the deep needs of the child, things which could go wrong could be as simple as a lack of affection or attention by dad or a perception that he is threatening, for example. In the case of normal or reasonably healthy development, sudden abuse, physical or emotional, could alter that psychosexual grid and result in the same types of problems. None of this makes the acting out on this pain moral or good. In fact, what? In fact, just the opposite occurs. The acting out on all this actually reinforces the self-perception, resulting in increased and practically over-the-top need for acceptance and off-the-charts fear of rejection. What does any of this have to do? Like, how does this even, again, this is mental pretzeling. What does fear of rejection or sensitivity reinforces the self-perception resulting in increased and practically over the top need for acceptance and off the charts fear of rejection. For the same sex attracted man or woman, there is deep rage resulting from being what? Yes, rage, rage against the hets. Rage against the hets. That's what it is. It's rage. Oh, it's rage. Every gay person is just a Hulk in hiding. A victim. Truly a victim. The feeling of being robbed and cheated out of feeling safe and protected as a child <laughs> engenders a deep animosity and envy and turns the victim. And this child was a victim. Turns him in on himself. Now they're Life only talking about boys. This is so weird. Times becomes a continual struggle to yeah, achieve some fair, measure Benjamin. of self-worth, overcompensating for the worth he was denied, but injustice was owed. If that translates into multiple, multiple anonymous sexual what? encounters, well, then so be it. But the cycle is never broken. Anonymous now, for sexual encounters? What about gay people who just have like one boyfriend? Like, not only is that a stupid, a stupid assertion made without any evidence whatsoever, but how does this even address, like, gay people who just have one boyfriend? He must have been a wild gay, yeah.
The priest to encourage this pain by pretending it's okay or God gifted and should be followed is horrendously evil. Likewise, Catholic priests who suffer from this personality disorder, like any other people who suffer. Are these like supposed to be gay, like priests or something? What? For for many others, must be a Catholic meme. These men should not be ordained. They don't have the outward facing capacity to be fathers because their own fathers denied them something they are now spending their lives in endless pursuit of. Wait, so what he's saying is that if you were ever treated poorly by your own father, you should not be able to become a, a priest or, or be ordained at all. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. This guy is even worse. Not only, not only is no one, is no gay person allowed to be a priest, but if you were ever treated poorly by your dad, you shouldn't be allowed to be a priest because only like perfect individuals can become priests. I'm pretty sure that's literally that, but his diocese hates him. That doesn't surprise me, but this doesn't even make sense for Orthodox. This goes against Catholicism. Priests aren't supposed to be perfect people. They're not supposed to be perfect people. They need to be helped out of the life, not out of the closet. They have been victimized, deeply victimized in their 10 to years to now and tell them to- 10 to years? What? 10 to years? Now we're talking about some fucking tendies here. What the fuck? Wallow in their victimization, physically and psychologically, is to victimize them all over again, but now to an even greater extent because the weight of moral guilt now attaches. Homosexuality from is from people like you. Aha, good snips. I'm glad they made him change it. Fuck. It's not from God. It is one of the many, many horrible refuges. But you literally said it was. You literally said that homosexuality, by this guy's own argument, homosexuality is caused because God made children incapable of thinking about things and some children just randomly turn inward that damaged psyches go to to seek relief. Welcome to a fallen world. It is not the mission of Catholic clergy to prevent spiritual growth and rescue. It is the mission of Catholic clergy to show men the path to God. And very frequently, that means repairing deep damage the person is not responsible for in the first place. Recovery is or can be painful, stark, frightening, looking at demons who seemingly this is justifying by the way this is justifying conversion therapy this is justifying conversion therapy yes it's saying yes becoming not gay will be painful and frightening that's why you should allow us to electrocute you this is why you should allow us to beat you this guy this is evil as fuck 100 percent evil fuck have total control it's not just pray the gay away you know like we should do i should do a section talking about the history of conversion therapy it's really bad yeah true lone cat though true but whose Ice death baths, grip must uh, electrocuting your dick uh beating children for it it's horrible must be broken and can be broken all it takes is truth and love which are one and the same for priests and cardinals to foster the lie that all this is fine and good is a horrible filthy rotten disgusting thing for a supposed father to do whatever happened in the past dude you're this advocating doubling for, down. you're advocating for torturing children you're literally advocating for objectively torturing children and you're also playing defense for fucking abusers who the fuck are you to talk about anybody who the fuck are you to talk about anybody dude on is even worse it leads souls to hell as if the hell of feeling insufficiently loved in this life wasn't painful enough the cool thing, the great thing to know is that even if the Catholics are right, this guy is 100% roasting in hell. This guy is 100% roasting in hell when he dies. 100%. Why is he holding a pencil? I don't know. It's a thing that he does. Even Souls if the Catholics out there are right. suffering from same-sex attraction. Listen to That's me. actually not true, though, Walker. Walker, it's, okay, first of all, it's actually not true. So, first of all, I actually happen to know this. Um... 
gay people aren't it's the 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 actual Catholic law, the church's law, um, does not say that you're wrong for being homosexual. Now, you are wrong for having gay sex, but you're not wrong for being homosexual. This guy is arguing differently. He's saying you are. Um, but the actual Catholic church, and it's still really bad, but the Catholic church doesn't actually believe that you're wrong for being homosexual. And in fact, they've, they, there's as evidence of course, as a ar arise, what's the difference? Well, there isn't that much functionally, but what it does mean is that it means it, it, it his argument blames God for this. Um, yeah, his, his argument, um, blames basically blames God for this shit without rec without realizing it. The Catholic church actually doesn't even agree with him. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. Anyway, there is a way out. There is a way out. Whatever happened in your early years, you may not even be aware, but aware or not, whatever happened, it does not have to set the pattern for the rest of your life. Your identity is that you are a child of God, period. Everything yes, else you are hearing of course, is Danny, lies. Yes, there's that one too. Don't ask or pray or cry to God to make you not gay. Ask him to walk the path with you with all its scariness back to how you were meant to be that someone or somebody robbed from you. Literally asserts that all gay people have to have been abused even if they don't know it. Literally, this is, this is the sort of thing that makes people go crazy. Let's finish the video and then we'll go from there. God love you. I'm no, Michael. Fuck you. Fuck you. God hates you, you piece of shit. Every God that has ever possibly existed hates your fucking ass. These guys are horrible. Holy shit. Um, just so you know, this is the type of shit that does that like drives children insane. This is why I hate organized religion. Can you imagine being just like a an innocent gay kid and growing up with this type of messaging around you all the time? And just like having to the, the mental torment that comes from feeling guilty about a basic thing about your existence that you have no choice of. No, I'm not. I'm an atheist. I used I grew up in a cult, Cointel Bones. We're doing no, we're doing more church militant for sure. We're doing more church militant. We, we need to we need to take these guys down for sure. Yeah, I grew up in a cult. Maybe we'll talk about that some today. Uh, Calvary Chapel is what the cult was called. It's very big these days. Yeah, send me one. Send me one, Snips. You seem to have a good knowledge of these people. Oh, my God. Catholic News Report? Catholic News Report Immigrant Caravan? Holy shit. You're a Catholic? Yeah. Oh my God. They're talking about Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell. These people are 100% crazy. Isn't the Uber Pine Cre YouTuber Pine Creek? I don't know. Maybe. Might be. I'm not sure. They might be. Getting censored. The Vortex. Oh my god, this one is just called Catholicism is Right. Should we watch this? Alright, what's this one? Let's watch this one first. I bet I bet this is probably a good one. Let's watch it. And we'll watch another one. Gay is anti-life? Oh my god, this is gonna be wild. <laughs> yes. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex. What We're the fuck is wrong with his face? Why is it so... What is happening here? Why is it... So... Did he put like... Re... Did he smear like resin or Vaseline on his face? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God, Somniostatic. I'm sorry about that. I was lucky in not feeling guilty about masturbation, but the thing is I never fucking figured out how to do it until I was 15 and suffered because of it. On top of the basic parent... Uh, paranoid homophobia I, I, and hatred I felt for people it's protestantism here but still cringe as fuck I thank the furry fandom and, and then TJ for helping me stop believe this shit seriously seriously this shit is so fucked holy shit I'm glad you got out of that too Eyes and falsehoods are trapped and exposed I have yeah I'm Michael I have Aber, but, exactly 46 yeah. years ago today to the day 
The U.S. Supreme Court authorized the mass extinction of tens of millions of preborn children, cloaking the genocide in a made up out of thin air alleged right to privacy. That right to privacy then went on to hatch right even to more destruction. Against right to privacy? What? It's not right to privacy, is it? Is that what it was based off? I thought it was based off of right to bodily autonomy. It's the family, natural law, and so forth. One of the big issues it gave birth to was, again, a never before. Okay. Oh, it was actually privacy law boy named Troy. Huh. So the decision of Roe v. Wade was based off of privacy? It is, huh? Interesting. I didn't know that. It is right based on right to privacy. Interesting. That's really weird. What a weird way that we have to justify basic bodily autonomy. Yeah, I've heard that it is kind of a weak ruling. Huh. What a sad state of our country. Yeah, I think they meant amazing atheist, yeah. Heard of right to sodomite marriage. Ah. Well, those two is sodomite marriage. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite word, sodomites. Even though the story of Sodom and Gomorrah had nothing to do with being gay, absolutely nothing to do with being gay, and instead had to do with the fact that the town was completely inhospitable and wanted to kill the guests. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah is not about being gay. Literally, even my church taught that. Even my fucking church taught that. My crazy church. The st they want Yeah, they wanted to rape angels. No joke. The, the fucking Sodom and Gomorrah had nothing to do with with being gay. It had to do with being inhospitable, uh, not having faith in God, and being a uh, being a rapist. Had nothing to do with being with gay. That was totally invented post hoc. Anyway, issues linked arms and joined forces a few days ago in a <clears throat> Catholic setting. Yeah, probably. As two homosexual men stood in front of a parish just before Sunday mass. <laughs> with their little boy, Cohen, and presented a syrupy presentation about just how normal they are and how completely ordinary their this situation is. This guy is so is. mad. You can hear how mad. This dude's fucking pissed. He's so jelly. This guy is jelly right now. He's so jelly. He just really wants, he really wishes he could have a boyfriend and show off their son, but he can't because he's a hateful piece of shit. Point. They waxed on about how the parish was so welcoming and accepting and how wonderful all the people in it were. Wax? You mean like the wax you have smeared all over your face, dude? Don't fucking shit on anybody else when you look like a fucking melting uh, fucking wax doll. Jesus Christ. They were inspired to start going there regularly because on an earlier trip, they had seen a lesbian couple bringing up the gifts and being all warmly accepted. Good. At the end of their seven-minute presentation, rife with heresy, they received a stand- Rife with heresy. Oh, my God. Ending ovation from the warm, friendly, accepting Church of Nice parishioners who just ate it all up. True. The normalization of not just homosexuality anymore in Catholic parishes, but now on top of it, the accompanying child abuse that occurs when a child is seen those, born Nibiru. of You'd a sodomite pairing. Yes, we said born, because this oh, child okay, was not adopted. Super interesting. The little boy, Cohen, is a product of in vitro fertilization and a woman whose womb the okay. homosexuals rented. Because Whose womb they rented? Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> this guy is so fucking pissed! Ah, it's a rental womb! Ah! But that is when you're stretching to find an insult. Hey, Oshadi, what's the rent on that womb? True. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I love, I love it. Rental womb. Because natural law prevents rent them from having sex, conceiving, Hey, it wasn't a rental, it was a birth. lease. So they used technological ability, every one of them they could find at their disposal to simply skirt all the church's teaching further and bring a new life into the world willfully depriving that yeah, little boy of his God-given right to a mommy. And the pastor... <laughs> I have to screenshot this. A God-given right to a mommy. <laughs> it's true, everyone. Yes, everyone, you do have a God-given right to a mommy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this face. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I have to, holy shit, I have to make sure I have this. 
God-given right to a mommy. <laughs> Can I just play this again? I'm sorry. Depriving that little boy of his God-given right to a mommy. <laughs> and the pastor allowed. <laughs> it's too good. The God-given right to a mommy. This and the crowd went wild. And the bishop, well, he did issue a statement expressing his displeasure and said he would be meeting to discuss the situation after he gets back from the March for Life events in Washington, D.C. Well, time's up on that one. The diocese is the Archdiocese of St. Paul, Minneapolis. The parish is St. Joan of Arc. And the bishop uh, is Archbishop. My, I, listen, I can be your demon mama. I can be your demon mommy, but I can't be more than that right now. You're clipping it, yes! The two clerical clowns who run the parish are the pastor, Father Jim de Brooklier, and the parochial vicar, Father James Cassidy. You wouldn't even know either one of them are priests. These men allow this evil to take place. Father In Dick fact, Jim. they encourage it. Every Sunday, whatever wild-eyed modernist who wants to ramble on about gay this or that, or immigration, or trans this or that, or climate change, is invited to get up and speak for a few minutes on just how Catholic their immorality is. Oh, it's how central to their faith. For example, the gay what? lovers told the fawning audience- Oh, he's so mad! This guy's just said the gay, the gay lovers, trans this or that, or climate change, you know. The gay lovers. I'm and a gay. This... Listen, let give me a fucking give me a fucking mama mauled in chat. No, give me an ahegao in chat. All right, give me an ahegao in chat if you're a gay lover. I am. I am a gay lover. Give me a give me an ahegao in chat if you're a gay lover. All right, look at that. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, thirty three. That's what we're talking about, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Gay lovers in chat. The gay lovers. This point, that's all this parish is, an audience, that it was good for Cohen to have two fathers. My name is Alan Bachtenor. And I'm Blake Wilson, and this is Cohen. And we were so excited and humbled when JP asked if we would come and talk a little bit about how we decided to, to baptize Cohen True in the Catholic cat. faith. You're supposed to be thought, a steward well, of the makes planet. Sense because just like Jesus, Cohen also has two dads. And he turned out pretty great. <laughs> True, though! They also simply passed right over the horror of IVF, in vitro fertilization. Again, the speaking horror? of it in purely ordinary terms. And this is where the gay, anti-life crowd finds its footing. What? Surely these two sodomites posing as actual Catholics must know that the IVF method automatically results in the death of many other children as part of the process. What? This guy, can you imagine, listen, can you imagine living your life like these people? Can you imagine living your life like, like these fuckers who are scared of everything? They're literally, they're literally deathly afraid of everything in the world. They're incapable. Yeah, every sperm is sacred, unironically. Holy shit. Every time you jizz, billions die. Yep, all that, all that lost data. Yes. Various eggs, by the way, where did two men get female eggs, are all... Where did two men get... What, 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 what do you fucking mean? the fuck you mean at the egg store you idiot at the egg store don't you go to the egg store don't you fucking go to the egg store all fertilized they're allowed to grow for a period and then the ones determined to be best suited to come to full term are then implanted in this case in a rented womb <laughs> damn i want to rent that i want to whoa man that rented womb looking good these days holy shit Damn. The others, meaning the other humans, well, they're discarded. A short little euphemism for killed. If, as is pretty routine with IVF, more than one tiny human was implanted in the rent-a-womb surrogate, at some point, selection is made again and the leftovers are killed in utero. This is malevolent. 
Are the two homo You're malevolent, you piece of shit. This is the guy who was just advocating for child abuse. Literally was just advocating for child abuse. And he's going to call the scientific process of IVF the only way that a lot of people can actually have kids is malevolent. Fuck this guy. Ad's going to tell little Cohen that in order for him to come into existence, they had to kill off some brothers and sisters of his because since all they can do is sodomize each other, they had to resort to science. Are they going to tell him that they actively chose to deny him a mommy because in... <laughs> We are denying you a mommy. I'm sorry. The gay agenda has the gay agenda has denied your mommy application. That's right. No mommies. The gay agenda has denied it. You will not get your mommy today. I say. In the end, all they cared about was trying to make their sodomy look normal. But perhaps most pressing is this. Is Archbishop Hebda going to move to lay aside the clergy that promote this horror, those two priests? And is he going to disband that parish, which doesn't even call nope. itself a parish? It's that famous nope, word. won't happen. Catholic community. Hebda did. Hater. He's a hater. Did not necessarily cause this yeah, issue. Lay aside at least not is, when you, is when you strip them of their, of their priestly rights. This parish. But he's certainly responsible now for stopping it dead in its tracks. If that parish is still around, if those priests are still around at the end of the month, that will tell you everything you need to know about Archbishop Hebda. Yep, which is that nobody gives a shit about God you and your fucking pathetic hate. No, Comrade Anthony, none of that matters because it doesn't support his final conclusion. Does he not know what that this happens between hetero couples trying to have kids? Nuh-uh. No, it doesn't. God, he, God sends little baby angels to pick up the extra eggs and scoop them aside and take them right up to heaven, okay? Here's the other link. Oh, yeah, let's take a look. I was I was lucky and not feeling guilty about masturbating, but the thing is I never fucking figured out. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Listen, a lot of Protestantism makes people feel guilty about masturbation. Yeah, like no joke. They actually do that. That's actually a huge fucking thing. This. Sh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, we're definitely gonna watch this. This sounds great. Yeah, probably, probably Speaking Billy Mac. Can we get a pog in the chat for JoJo? See what coming out. Yo, poggers. Speaking of gay, I didn't know about that, but that's fucking awesome. Pog! That gets a pog in chat for sure. Hey, let's watch this. This is a little, wait, but this is the Atlantic. I might get hit for this. Will I get hit for this? I probably won't. Will I? I probably will, right? I'm probably going to get taken down for this because it's the Atlantic. Jojo Siwa? Yeah, so I can't watch this, but I'll watch this later on my own time. This seems interesting. Let's watch more of this guy's shit. Let's see one more. Let's do one more. We're going to do one more church militant channel before we move. One more church militant video before we go on. Way too gentle? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Comprehensive coverage. What is this? It's from a Catholic perspective. Tune in to post-election special. Yep. Nights. Yep. Isn't that fucking weird, comrade? Isn't that fucking weird? Oh, here's one. What's this one? All right. If you say this is a good one, I'll watch this one. Let's do it. You bastard. You fucking bastard. You fucking huh? bastard. I should have seen it. I should have seen the two cues. Fuck. I trusted you, Snips. I trusted you, Snips! As the Catholic in chat, I trusted you. But now you have a you have a mute. Enjoy your mute. Comprehensive coverage from a Catholic perspective. Tune in to post-election special weeknights at 6.30 p.m. Hope Eastern. It was worth it. Only at Church Militant. Hello, everyone, and welcome. What does STB mean? What is ST? What's an STB with Michael Vore's STB? What is STB? What? Oh. Oops. Super tidy bit titty bitches. Said to be short term borrowing. 
sexually transmitted disease. Bachelor of Sacred Theology. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Bachelor of Sacred Theology. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's that one. A graduate level degree by pontifical universities. So he's a poser, right? It's the three. It's granted by pontifical figures under the Pope, also known as the Holy See. Is awarded upon successful completion of the first cycle, a three-year course of studies that aims for a comprehensive competence in theology. So this is a this is an associate's degree in God, is what it is. Okay, yeah. So this guy's got a, an associate's degree in God knowing. Okay, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. In the postmortem, and we do mean postmortem, not only of the election's aftermath, but of the nation, people have to face facts coldly. And if you will allow a personal anecdote Why? Give them here, a coat. in my TV reporter days for CBS affiliates, I was on a vigil duty at the house of a 10 year old girl here in Metro Detroit who was kidnapped and eventually found dead in a dumpster not far from her home about six weeks later. For her memory and prayers, for her soul, her name was Deanna Seifert, and she lived in the suburb of Warren, kidnapped in the dead of the night on Mother's Day while at a sleepover with her other little friends. During our coverage, we'd keep vigil in the street every day, talking to neighbors and filing our reports for the nightly news. One day, I was talking with a police officer in front of the house, and I said to him how hard it is to think that this kind of horrible thing could happen. His reply has never left me. He said, since you don't think like a serial killer or a child killer, you don't understand. 99.999% of people, for example, drive past a playground and see kids on swings and playing in the sandboxes and all that, and they smile and think that's nice. Look at them having fun playing. But there is one guy driving past that play, but playground thinking how he will steal one of those kids, chop him to pieces, and scatter his parts all over the county. In order to counter that, someone what? has to think like him. That's our job, meaning the... What? What the fuck? Holy shit! Yeah, listen, I think... Listen, I'm a cop. I think about beating up and chopping up children all the time, you know? It's gotta be one of us. We're the thin blue line, right? <laughs> Anyway, you found any good kids? Police. Well, I was thunderstruck at that thought, and like I said, I have never forgot it. It's seared into my mind. Now, fast forward to the election and the state of the country. The comparison is more than fitting. Most people at their core do not think like traitors to the country. They don't hate God, country, tradition, and so forth, but like the child killer driving past the playground, some do. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What a, t like, this is like, like, this is like a train skipping a track and jumping and landing on a completely different track. What the fuck? Hey, thank you, Tree Dad. Appreciate okay, that. So <laughs> what the fuck? Some people drive by the Capitol and like a pedophile looking for a child to kill. They go, yeah, I want to kill America. Oh my God. And today, the killers have seized power precisely <laughs> and explicitly because the Holy overwhelming shit. majority of people not only do not think like that, they can't get their brain around that others do. And so they continue to ascribe other motives to their wicked deeds. The conservative what? faction in the, the nation and the orthodox fuck. faction in the church have let the killers seize power because they have been way too gentle this is in their shit, approach. Yeah. You could probably describe them as naive and or apathetic. They never... Mary fucking chilling over here. You know, I can't help but feel that this is a little bit blasphemous using the image of Mother Mary to promote your fucking shit. 
never responded to each of the incremental dangers because they never recognized them for what they were, the ultimate overthrow of America. Oh, no. The, Nobody would want Joe to do such. Joe Biden. Fucking sleepy Joe Biden is the ultimate overthrower of America. These people are incapable of any subtlety. Everything has to be the most dangerous shit in the entire universe. It's fashy shit, 100%. They're like, Joe Biden is the greatest threat ever. You must act now. Act now. Do it now. Joe Biden is scary. Be scared. Be scared of Joe Biden. Be very scary. He's incredibly scary, even though he's very sleepy and useless. He's also scary. Run, 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 hide, run. Give me money, quick. A thing they would think to themselves and then excuse the latest move towards Marxism step by step. The latest move in a long series of moves, total aggression, somewhat disguised yeah, and course, wrapped up in class war yeah, warfare terms and pretending human dignity and equality was always the goal. Human dignity and authentic equality are not only not the goal, they are the antithesis of Marxist communism. Communists detest human dignity that comes from God. Imagine thinking Nancy Pelosi is a communist. Can you imagine the fucking brain, brain pretzel that you have to come into to think Nancy Pelosi, the most like fucking corporatist dem bus behind Joe Manchin, is a communist? Oh my God. God, because the demands placed on them by a divine being to live a moral life are anathema to them. Too many people have been fooled and too many others have been too scared to actually look into that I darkness know, guy. I and know. come to grips with what's really there. Most people, the vast majority, simply go yeah, along is, with all yeah, of this okay, for one of for those sure. two reasons, fear or denial. Both are enemies of truth. As a quick snapshot of fear and denial, two things that you've been literally pushing all day. Literally all you've been doing is, is pushing mass fear mongering and then denying the absolute fact that B Joe Biden won the election. Idiots. That consider that exit polls showed that three quarters of Georgians believed their state elections were largely handled fairly. So consider, in the face of video evidence, hundreds of sworn affidavits by eyewitnesses, data analysis, rigged sworn affidavits mean jack shit. Rigged voting machines and all rigged voting machines has been proven provably false. The videos are contextless and give you nothing. All the rest of it. Proof of the steal. 64 lost cases by the Trump admin. Three out of every four still um, believe this video, oh, started, this video started talking about serial killers for some reason. Okay. Now to be certain, one out of every four voters believing it was rigged and stolen is nothing to shake a stick at. But at the end of the day, what do you do with that? 70-ish million people believe they have been robbed. They have. They haven't been, and those 70 million people are countered by 75 to 80 million who voted for Joe Biden. So, cry more, bitch. And now, given Tuesday's and yesterday's events, that have been, they have been completely robbed. The Marxists Bye, realized Loeffler. from their origins in Stalinist-style politics <laughs> that they needed to play the... Stalinist Joe Biden! Stalinist Kamala Harris! Oh my god, brain worms! Just brain worms! Literally don't know anything about the words they're saying. Nothing. Subtle long game. And that it would work because the vast majority of people would never be able to conceive of the depth of their evil plans. They just don't think like that, so they would never suspect someone else did. Well, the Marxists were right. Most people are way too gentle to realize or accept the horror that is unfolding before them. Consider that in the spiritual war, it's exactly the same. The idea of the devil, a living personal being seeking to destroy them in hell is either too much to deal with or regarded as simply too out what? there. But it is the reality, the truth. It's such a reality that God himself had to incarnate to break Satan's death grip on humanity.
And if you need further evidence of the direct connection between the natural what? and the supernatural, politics and religion, what? then look no further. People do not recognize the evil and lies of the Marxists in this world because Truly, they do not slice. recognize the father of lies. Too many people refuse yeah. to look at that. But what about the mother of lies, of truth, of lies, of truth, of Marxism? Me. Me, it's me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That They haven't been properly instructed and formed in the faith to look at reality Mommy playing out in the natural order square in the face. It's the exact same situation in the body politic, anesthetized by video games, movies, all the bread and circuses. They were lulled into a blind comfort by the- Dude, you're a YouTube channel. Who the fuck are you to talk? Who are you to talk? Oh, who are you to talk about fucking bread and circuses? You're a YouTube channel, dude. What the fuck? Marxists, until the Marxists have been the exactly where they wanted them. Back in 2016, as the Marxist opposition formed against patriotism, personified in the Trump presidency, the Washington Post became something of a laughingstock when it unveiled its new slogan. That slogan was, democracy dies in darkness. Turns out, the Marxist at WashPo and everywhere else- What? Washington Post is Marxist now too? It literally is. They, holy shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Else are having a good laugh of their own. Democracy I can't. I can't. does I can't indeed do die in darkness. And so do souls. So enough with the misunderstood and misapplied gentleness. It's time to become woke in the real sense and stand up against that darkness no matter the cost, and it is going to cost. God love you. I yeah, that's what that then, it's going to cost. So give us your money and make sure you give us a tithe and blah, blah, blah. This company is considered a 501c. Holy shit. This company is considered a fucking charity. That's insane to me. Oh, not anymore? Did they get busted? It's a 501c4 corporation. Pays no taxes, right? Or tax reduced? Holy shit. They've shifted to a different type of corp? Oh, of course they have.